Build Show friends, I'm coming to you from Detroit, Michigan, where we are set up to do a Build Show Live. In a few minutes, we're going to have 150 builders in the audience, and we're doing a live show. You can watch this in the future on BuildShowNetwork.com. But for today, we are back to the Building on an Island series. This is with my buddy Wade Paquin of WPAP Construction. He's building this house on Block Island off the coast of Rhode Island with all the things going on, the logistical issues, the coastal weather, the pandemic. It's been really fun to follow along with Wade on this project. Today's episode, we're talking HVAC. This is episode seven. We've got Evan Trithui on this episode. We're talking about the Unico system. You guys know this? This is that really small duct system that you can snake around the house. It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you guys wanna catch up on the series or actually get ahead of the series, we've actually published several episodes beyond this over on buildshownetwork.com. With that being said, Wade, take it away on episode seven, Building on an Island. Let's get going. The Building on an Island series is sponsored by Anderson Windows and Doors, the Unico system, key link fencing and railing, and legend. Welcome back to Building on an Island. I'm Wade Paquin. I just took a quick flight over here to the island and I am now heading out to the job site to check on progress, uh, which has been a little slow going, to be honest, the last month or so. Um, you know, it's been a tough time of the year, the winter. We've had a lot of storms, uh, COVID-19 and the Omicron variant uh, really hit Rhode Island pretty hard coming through, you know, the holidays around Christmas, New Year's and into January. Um, and that just really slowed things down, right? A lot of my subcontractors had their staff home sick. Um, you know, subs and vendors had truck drivers home sick. So um, just by nature of all of these things happening in conjunction with a lot of storms uh, coming up the coast here. We've had a few nor'easters. The ferry has been uh, shut down when those types of storm happens. The airport closes um, and you just can't get out here. So it, it really slows things down, but we've made good progress. Uh, we've been roughing in um, plumbing and HVAC. And in fact, today uh, we're going out to the project to meet with Evan Trithui, uh, who owns RST Thermal. Uh, Evan and his company have been a uh, New England rep for Unico, who's a manufacturer of uh, HVAC equipment, which is the brand we're using on the project. So we're gonna head out to the job site, we're gonna meet with Evan, and we're gonna talk all things Unico. So we are now on the bottom floor, walkout basement, yep. finished space, future space. And you can see here looking up, we've got some duct in place, right? We've got a couple supplies for two different zones that are happening and we've yep. got a return. Yep. And the thing that, one of the many things, frankly, that I've always loved about Unico is the compact duct sizing, right? You can see here, we're fairly tight. We're not super wide. So we have good head height and we're minimizing softening of the duct work. Exactly. Just to give you a little uh, scope here, if this were to be a conventional duct system, this duct would most likely be eight inches deep by 30 inches wide, which is enormous. You would never have the chance to do this. Essentially almost double the size. Yes. So um, this is the duct system though, right? So this is what we like to call the branches of the tree. The mechanical room is where it all begins. That's the trunk. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. All right, Evan, so we're in the mechanical room now. We've got mm -hmm. two Unico air handlers here. One will be supplying air for our first floor yep. and the other for the uh, soon to be finished basement, yep. right? Um, now looking at these, you got basically some modular units here that looks like uh, a hydro air handler. Hydro air, exactly. So let me explain what that means. So hydro air is when we use hot water to heat the air. Um, the way this works is this is a coil inside here the water will be heated at the boiler. It'll come in right here. The air will come across this coil, take the heat away, and it'll be pumped back out to the boiler to be reheated. So, so hot, that's hot our- Hot water loop right Exactly, there, okay? hot water loop, and that's our heat source. It's called hydro air. Mm -hmm. So that's when we're in heating. When we're in cooling, we would use this module. This is the cooling module. In here is also a coil, um, but instead of having a boiler with hot water, we use refrigerant piping to the condenser, mm -hmm. right? So the condenser kicks on, runs the refrigerant piping through, air now comes across this coil, pulls moisture out of the air and cools it down, 
and the moisture comes out of here in the form of condensate. Mm -hmm. Moving up, we have the blower, right? So this is how it works. Heating, cooling, blower. We got to move the air. Right. And here's a blower wheel that's going to blast air through the duct, okay? So the nice part about it is that these are all modular, right? So with Unico, you can use cooling only, a cooling and blower module. You could do heating where you do no cooling module. So it's you kind of build it the way you want. Right. In New England, you tend to see both heating and you cooling. And if yeah. we're just in cooling in the summer, the coil down here is basically disengaged. Right. So the, yeah. so the air coming across it, that coil is just room temperature, room temperature, so to speak. Sure. And the air is coming up. It's pulling off the uh, cooled coil in here, and then it's getting pushed through the system. Through the, yep. Exactly. So you have air coming in with the duct down the, the bottom. That would be a return duct. Yep. Yep. And then the supply is coming off the top here. Now on a traditional air handler, you'd have a plenum here that's about the size of the blower box. Yep. I don't see the space up here for that. I just see a small square here. So is this a different connection? Yes. So Unico likes to keep it super simple. So it's modular as well as pre-engineered. Unico makes a pre-made square to round starting collar for this unit, mm -hmm. right? So it screws right on here and it goes to a round size ductwork. From there, you can transition to any way you want, right? Like in the basement where we were earlier, it's a different size, it's not round, you can transition after that. Mm -hmm. But it's a pre-made sort of pre-packaged system. Gotcha, okay. So, this is the trunk. We were at the branches. Mm -hmm. I think we should go back to the branches and talk a little bit more about that. that sounds like a good right. idea. All right, Evan, so we're back out here to uh, the branches of the system, right? Yep. Um, and so these are the uh, rectangular duct, again, trying to maximize head height, yep. minimize the boxing out softening of this in the finished space, yep. right? Um, but typically, uh, this is not what you normally see for a Unico supply uh trunk right? right duck it's typically a seven or nine inch right. right so usually you know this this is for head height purposes we wanted to save as much head height as possible usually what we would use is a seven inch round right this is a seven inch round regular duct work um, the largest you'll ever see with the unico system is a nine inch round so it's just a little bit bigger than this that's the largest you'll ever see right and this is the standard seven standard is what we seven. mostly yep. use which is amazing so yep. and what makes unico able to have such small compact duct work it's, it's a technical answer, but let me explain it like this. Unico uses about half the airflow as conventional with up to 10 times the static pressure, meaning the pressure going into the duct on the supply side. So half the airflow. So half the airflow is a little concerning. Why are we only getting half airflow and not full airflow? It seems like it's half airflow, but actually when you factor in the fact that it's half the airflow with the higher static, the net result is positive. What okay. we can do with that is you have, like when we were at the trunk, the air handler earlier, we have that cooling coil, right? If we have less air coming across that cooling coil, that air sits on the coil longer. And what it does is it dehumidifies more. So with Unico, just naturally by how it works, you're gonna dehumidify a lot more. Than a traditional than a conventional system. system. Yep, yep. And that's just the natural result on how the physics of the Unico system work. You don't need to do anything special to get that benefit. Now, that's interesting and good to hear because uh, that was a major concern for my client. Yep. Where we're standing, there used to be a home here. Yep. That home had a lot of issues because it wasn't built correctly in the first place. Yep. But one of the major issues was a damp, wet, moist, smelly, moldy yep. basement. Yep. And it was one thing that the client asked me to pay attention to here to make sure that this space, this ground level walkout half basement yep. um, was going to be dry. Yep. We're finishing the space so they yep. didn't want any moisture problems. Yep. We've put things in place. We're also on an to, island. We're also on an island. <laughs> yeah. It's always yeah. wet here. Yeah. But we have things in place to mitigate that from a water management yep. side of things. But now indoors for yep. the indoor air quality, it's really nice to hear that this system dehumidifies more than a traditional system yep. per se. And it makes me wonder, are there any other uh, benefits or properties of this system that uh, add or benefit in terms of indoor air quality? So listen, we have, you know, to use our analogy, the, the trunk and the branches and leaves and everything, it's there, right? We have it, the system is right here. Now that we have that, it's a huge benefit because we can fold in any other thing we want. We can add a humidifier 
for the winter. If it's too if it's too dry up in the living space, we can add an ERV to ventilate. We can add, you know, this is a timely thing right now, UV lights for virus mitigation. Mm -hmm. um, we can keep adding things like a plug and play mm -hmm. um, because we have the system in place and you can just basically cater to what the house needs for air quality. Right, right. right. So that's the branches, right? And we've talked about the trunk. Now, none of this happens until we get to the living space. So up at the living space where the air comes out is what we call the leaves. Mm -hmm. The Wanna end of the branch. Let's go see it. Sure. All right, Evan, so we're up here on the first floor and how convenient right in front of us, we have yeah. one of these uh, supply ducts here. Now you can see it's within some pink spray paint. So per I had gone- Perfectly done by perfectly the way. Perfectly <laughs> drilled out, right. I had gone through with my HV, HVAC subcontractor uh, to spray paint out all the locations of where these supply grills were coming up through the floor. Yep. That was based on the load calcs that Unico provided sure. for us, right? Yep. How much tonnage on the system we need for the equipment, how many supplies. Yep. We had the quantity, we went out and put yep. them where we need to simple. in the space, yep. pretty simple. Um, but this component here, this two inch air duct, is tied back to our main branch, right? Yep. So to, to go with the analogy we've been using, this is the leaves, right? This is the leaves, this is the termination. This hose goes back to the main branch that we talked about earlier. Um, now the termination here could be a multiple, multitude of things. I have an oak one because that's the floor that's gonna be used here. It's as simple as twisting this thing in and this would sit on top of the hardwood floor when it's done. So the oak floor would come right up We'd sit this right on top and we'd stain it the same as the floor. You'd, you'd really lose it, not be able to see it. Right, and that would essentially look, you know, if this is our hardwood floor surface, it would sit over the top like this. And yes. just have, you know, it's tapered it's down, top. so it's yep. not gonna be like kind of a, you know, broken toe catch because yeah, it's yeah. nice and, yeah. and tapered here. So, and, and essentially this is the same supply grill as you'd see in, a, in an older home with those older 4x12 metal rusty grills, exactly. right? Exactly. This is Unico's version of the, the clinkety old, uh, the clinkety old uh, outlet. Right. You see. Now, as slick as this is, you know, oftentimes with rectangular grills, we set them flush into the floor, so they're recessed into the floor. Can we get this in a recessed uh, trim? Yeah, so it actually looks a lot like this, although it wouldn't be tapered. It would be one uniform uh, depth here. And what you would do is you would make a bigger hole in the hardwood floor and it would sit flush with the floor. So as opposed to sitting on top, it would sit right up to it and it would be really set in so you wouldn't notice it and your flooring guy could come stain right up to it and on it. And right, so it's it. integrated in nicely yep. And, yep. and you can get these in different wood species, red oak, white oak, Anyone fir, walnut, right. Yep. right. Right, that's super slick. Um, one thing that's coming to mind here is ease of installation with this two inch air duct, right? It yep. comes in a box, I think it's 12 feet long. Yep. It has the termination connection fittings on either end. Yep. So the installer can drill that main bigger branch, if you will, yep. make the connection, yep. and then like a slinky, just pull this thing pull right up to its location and tie on whichever trim you go with, all, right? All of this ties into Unico being pre-engineered and easy to install. What they do is they have a pre-engineered size of the ductwork. If, you know, if you're using this size air handler, you need this size ductwork. You know how many outlets, how many runs you're gonna need, as well as the ability to install it easily. You can fit these things anywhere. You could run that hose in a two by four wall if you wanted to. Right, and uh, well, that's another great thing with Unico, right, is you can get these small ducts pretty much anywhere, and it's really helpful in older homes and renovation work. Yeah, we do a ton of retrofit work because of that. Yeah, you've even mentioned in older homes and stuff with the traditional old ductwork system, you've used those as chaseways to run a a, a multiple. multiple systems in one duct. Right, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Right, right. So. Well, I'll tell you, as cool as these trims are, we've got something even cooler upstairs. Let's go oh take boy. a look. Let's take a look. All right, Evan, so now we're up here on the top floor. Yep. And you may have noticed we've got a reverse layout here. We do. Right? So kitchen, dining, living. And the reason for that, the views. Yeah. Right? I can, Just I can see why. Spectacular yeah, views yeah. of the ocean here. Yep. Um, so, going to be a beautiful space with these big uh, high vaulted ceilings. Yep. However, that is a HVAC installer's nightmare, yep. right? Yep. Where are we going to put sure. ductwork in here to yep. condition the space, yep. right? So challenge number one. Challenge number two, the kitchen, right? That was vaulted. We've decided to uh, bring that down. Yep. 
and create a tray ceiling with some coffers in here. Sure. So we had one place to get our ductwork from the little bit of attic space we have over there where our, our equipment and air handler will be. Yep. Right through there, through that tiny little yep. pathway. I see it. So we've got a nine inch hard pipe duct coming in. It's going over the top of the yep. uh, tray ceiling in here. That transitions to a seven inch duct that loops around the whole perimeter. Yep. Off of that, we'll have eight outlets of the two inch air duct, right? The same yep. thing we just looked at downstairs. Yep. You just be able to flip them. Upside yep. down Perfect. in the coffered, yep. recessed, painted over, integrated in, nicey nice. Coming off of that, we've got another supply that's going to come to what will be a slot drain, right? We've got our framing carved out right, for that, right. and that's going to condition this whole space. Right. So the, these spaces are always difficult, the big open spaces. Um, one thing we've had a lot of success with, and we're doing it here, is instead of having all these different holes and stuff like that and trying to find places to put outlets, what we do is we put, I can see this room calls for 10 from the plans. Um, so we need 10 outlets here. So what we'll do is we'll put 10 of these slotted outlets all next to each other behind this slot right here, behind this opening here. And what will happen is the plaster will come and make a nice finished plaster look and we'll have one long linear outlet. So you really wouldn't be able to find out where the heating and coolants come from if you looked, through, looked around in here. Right. So that will blow towards this way. So now we have, you know, we had floor outlets, we had ceiling outlets, now we're in the high side wall, so you can really put them anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and that little slot for X amount of feet, whatever, will cover all of the heating and cooling in this big room. Right. Amazing. So again, another benefit of Unico's compact duct system, right? I, I could barely fit that duct in that only right. space I had without softening or boxing out yeah. something in the finished space, yeah. which we didn't want to take away no from this nice aesthetic. It. Right, there's no other way to do it. So. so I appreciate you coming by yeah, today. This is a great job. Um, everything's been great. I can't wait to see the finished product. Uh, I wish I could hang out a little longer. I got a flight to catch though. Yeah. Give me a ride? I'll give you a ride, Sorry, buddy. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's go.